Hello and welcome back to another video. So this is the final part of my mini series on how to root your Samsung device, how to install a custom ROM and also how to unroot and go back to the stock firmware. So in this video we're going to do exactly that, we're going to actually put the stock firmware back on the device. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first step is to actually go over to sammobile.com and I'll leave the link in the description below. When you get here, you need to go to the firmware section and then once you click on that, there's a little option at the top called firmwares and files. So if we click on that and then if we just browse down the page, we'll find a section where we can actually find all the different firmwares for all the different phones. So for example, here we're gonna do a smartphone which is using Android. And then here you use the drop down and select your particular device. So that was obviously selected on the Note 2. So I'm going to try and find the Galaxy S3, which is just about here. Once you've done that, they ask you what country you're in. And obviously I'm in the UK here. So I'm going to go to the UK section. And if we come down, you can see here that we have a group of them. So we have different ones for different carriers. Now my particular phone is an unbranded one, which I bought from the car phone warehouse. So I'm going to select the B. TU option, click on send and then it shows you a list of all of the firmwares uh, here. So as you can see we can download which one we want. So I basically downloaded the top option here ahead of time and now what we're going to do is actually flash that onto the device itself. So just before we install the stock ROM that came with the phone I'm going to put the phone into download mode because I want to show you something first of all. So every time you flash your device it adds a little increment onto the binary count. So by putting it into download mode, like as you can see in a second, I'm going to press up to continue. And then you'll see here at the very top, I'm going to bring the phone close to the camera and manually focus this DSLR. And there you go, you can actually see it says three counts. So I've actually flashed this device three times. So if I was to take this back to the shop to get it repaired or something, they could potentially see that and refuse to repair it due to the warranty because uh, I've actually flashed it with a custom ROM. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove that count uh, so we can take it back or we can do what we want with it. So an easy way to remove the counter that gets added every time you flash your device is to go to the Play Store and actually search for an application called Triangle Away, which is made by Chainfire. Uh, once you've got that, just give that a quick install. And then what this literally does is actually just basically removes the counter. It's very simple and very easy, but you do have to be careful and make sure that this is supported on your phone. Because it does say in the description in the Play Store and on the application itself that if it doesn't support your phone, it will brick the device. So you've got to be very careful make sure you check that first so once you go into it it will ask you for root uh, so I can grant that and here we go I'm going to say no thanks to the follow me and this is pretty much it and uh, it's very simple you just have to click on one button I'm going to manually focus this again so as you can see here triangle away version 2.3.7 and again, if you look at the current status, it says counter three, um, and it's also detected my device. So we're gonna click the reset flash counter, and it says danger. Again, be very careful, make sure this is supported on your device, and click on continue, and give it a second, and it's now reset it. It's that simple. So that is now finished and done. So what I'm gonna do is actually reboot the device and actually just check it again um, by going into download mode one more time. So as you can see here, the custom counter has been set and we can now do what we want. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how to install the stock firmware that we downloaded from Sam Mobile. Okay, so we're on the final stretch now. What we need to do is go to where you've got Odin installed and you've downloaded the custom firmware. So as you can see here, I've got some stock ROMs. I've got one for the uh, S3 and I've also got the Note 2. So here is the file I downloaded. Then I extracted that out. And as you can see here, it gives you two files and there are what we need to get this done. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up Odin and here it is and Odin I'm going to open with admin privileges as I did before in my previous videos. Okay so once Odin is open we are pretty much ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this window in the background. So the next stage is we need to get the phone into a download mode. So I'm going to hold the down volume, the power and the home key. And as you can see here it will eventually turn off as you can see, and then we'll get the download section here. We're just going to go to press the up key and we are ready to go. So I'm just going to grab the USB cable now and plug this into the bottom of the device, as you can see here. And once we do this, it will then register with Odin and we should see the com lights light up any second. It should go blue and there it goes. And again, your number may be different to mine, but as long as it lights up, we are ready to go. So the final thing we need to do in Odin is click on PDA. That's going to open up a new window and here we need to browse to the firmware file that we downloaded from Sam Mobile. So I'm going to go to my Galaxy S3 folder, into that folder and select the 
file that we need that's going to add it in and now all we literally have to do is click on start and away we go so this will literally wipe the device completely clean of everything and install the new custom firmware so what i'm going to do i'm going to speed this up this did take quite a while to go through i don't want you to sit here and wait all that time so once Odin has done its thing, you'll see here the green pass lights up. That is a good indication that it is all working so far. So one of the problems you may come up against when you're installing the stock firmware back onto your device is that it stays on the Samsung logo. As you can see here, it's not budging. I initially thought the very first time this happened to me, I'd bricked the device. Uh, but I hadn't. Um, all we have to do is go into the stock recovery and do a couple of things, which I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to actually do this, all we have to do is put the phone into recovery mode. And it's like we did when we went into clockwork mod. We're just going into the stock recovery on the phone. So we have to press the up volume this time, the power button and also the home key. And again, that will reboot the device and it will take you into the custom uh, recovery. So if we give that a second or two, that should go into it. And in here, we can then wipe the data, wipe the cache partition and then we're back up in business so that's just rebooting now and as you can see a little green Android man and in a second we will see the here we go there it is so it looks very similar to the clockwork mod recovery so I'm just going to manually focus the camera one more time so from the menu here we're going to go down to wipe data slash factory reset and uh, we're going to press the power key and then go down to delete all data that's going to wipe it so once it's deleted the data, we now need to go down to the wipe cache partition. We're going to use the volume keys to go down like before, press the power key. And again, that's now going to wipe that. Now all we need to do is reboot the device. We're just going to use the top option and away it goes. Now this time it will start perfectly. So the first time we tried this, it got stuck on the Samsung logo. This time, as you can see by doing what we did, it's now allowed us to get through to the welcome screen, as you can see here. So that is pretty much how you reset your Galaxy device to the stock firmware from Sam Mobile. So I just want to thank you everybody for watching this little mini series. If there's any other Android related videos you want me to make, uh, leave any comments below. It's always appreciated. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button, which is just below. I always say above, but it is obviously now down below. And as always, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.